energy does not initiate from the yesod point for action, but as actually comes to the yesod point. It comes to the yesod point from the cube of the second surrounding light, which is the Yehida aspect, and it surrounds everything. And this surrounds even the, the first surrounding light. So all energy is brought down from this second surrounding light and permeates the entire vessel and the person within that vessel. The vessel is the Kli, the, the, the Samak, the first surrounding light. It permeates it and it goes into the Yesod point. So it's like in the old days when you had a guru, you used to go there and kneel and then you swept the dust, like pretend you're sweeping the dust to his feet and then touch his feet because he's above the ground. So this dust that was swept to the feet made him physical. It's the same thing. This energy from the cube permeates the cube down into the yesod point of the cube, within the cube. And that comes in with an in-breath. And then the out-breath is the motion from that point. So that can be like an aleph for air or light or the yud as an energetic source. But it comes in into that yesod point and then out-breath. So it's in-breath gathering all the energetic potential in the world into this Botsina de Katenuta, into this one spot. And then from that one spot, that initiates action. So when one thinks and one says one initiates action from the yesod point, yes they do, this is what initiates action. But how did the energy get there? The energy get the, got there because you're walking in a cube. You're in a surrounding space cube. And that surrounding space cube brings in, on your in-breath, in all that energy. And then your out-breath, so it comes from external to the most internal. So the most external feeds the most internal. And then the action comes back out. So there's a chain. All action emanates from the yesod point. But its energy was brought into the yesod point from the surrounding cube.